All right, welcome back, everybody. Some reggae boy news. Formula Sports with me. What's up, bro? Man, I'm good, man. I'm good, man. We're alive and kicking, so you know we have to be grateful. All right, everybody, remember like and subscribe to the video and if you don't subscribe to the um formula sports yet go over there click on the like and subscribe and that notification bell so you can be aware when formula drop your stuff all right formula some good news hopefully if them can pull this off this is good news jf yeah. is to increase capacity for remaining qualifiers this is coming out of the greener this morning I don't know if you um, got a chance to look at it yet, but I'm going to ma ma run through it real quick, all right? Yeah, man. Please so, do. Although falling short of their intended uh, fan target for the last Tuesday's hope, home World Cup qualifier against the United States at the National Stadium, Jamaica Football Federation General Secretary Dalton Wint says that he is targeting approval for 50% capacity at a minimum for future games starting next year. So that would be mexico right i would i would really love for them to be able to pull that off because me myself i would like to um go to that game and i think the team would need the support yeah 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 all right we'll continue the u.s game which ended 1-1 um was the first home game the reggae boys played in front of their supporters so far in the campaign with a maximum of 5,000 fully vaccinated people being approved to attend in total 4,100 attended the game 900 short of their intended target when you first look at that you'd say um it's worrying but when you read further into the article and see some of the factors that they claim yeah that they claim <laughs> um we can discuss it further all right wind attributes missing their goal to growing pains experienced by the online system used to purchase tickets but say they are nevertheless pleased in getting home support back for the first time in more than a year all right so wind says not completely satisfied but we are comfortable we know that it is the first time we are doing this in terms of electronic tickets most of our patrons were late purchasing late purchasers of tickets people were trying to get themselves approved on the day of the match which was impossible so we um know why why we did not have the target number went told the sunday gleaner but um it's a decent start he said um formula wait, what, what's your opinion on on, on mr wind's comments there so i mean look we can never we can never be trusting of the current footballing hierarchy in my opinion and that's okay. the greatest of respect to them their track record for me where transparency and you know honesty is concerned for me is, is not the best right but on the flip side to that the arguments are reasonable i mean it was a new system that they were trying to implement so i mean common sense would tell it especially you know in, in the context in the jamaican context come on and they did warn us i, I was in, on the press conference the online press conference they yeah. did warn us from minute one that this thing would be problematic right it's a pilot right so the the, the arguments put forward are reasonable um i think a little more public awareness might have helped um probably a little bit more going beyond just the press conference for the regular fans because me and you we are not regular fans by any means in terms of the attention that we pay to the team but the regular patron a lot of regular everyday patrons are going to be the ones that fill up the stadium so True. yeah i do encourage the new system and i think even when things go back to normal it's something that they should keep along with being able to purchase at locations um but just let people be a little bit more aware that they can't try to be approved on the final day you know what i mean let them know you probably try to start uh, marketing the tickets probably like two weeks before probably a radio campaign a tv campaign or something like that yeah or even or even just a press release to the regular um media reminding them at or every time that they discuss the reggae boys just reminding them 
of how to get the tickets. You know what I mean? Things like that can be done because I, I work in the media, so I know certain press bulletins can go out. Just, you know what I mean? Yeah, they will yeah. never admit though if it is indeed a case where it was just a lack of interest. They will never admit that. <laughs> yeah, because that is the other thing that I, I would be getting to. Is there a, is it a matter of lack of interest or people are hesitant of the conditions to get into the stadium, such as getting True. the job? True. Yeah, the, the, so. the, the process is very complex. Yeah, it, it, it's very it's 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 a difficult thing to 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 go through. It's very long and complex, and you know, cumbersome. Yeah. Um. Let's all right. So let's just look at this first, though. The lack of interest. You know what I mean? Let's just pick it apart and just look at those two things, because there are quite a few factors. You could also add into the fact that you have people who are, despite or even getting the job, they're still fearful of crowds. You know True. what I mean? Yeah, True. So like I said, they're quieter, but the, the one that sticks out to me is the lack of interest. Could that be the realest possibility? It could be a lack of interest in either the game. It could be a lack of interest in from a perspective of a, a reggae boys game it could be a lack of interest in the team or it could be a lack of interest in terms of going through that cumbersome process when people look at the process they just immediately get turned off yeah so i i, I think I, I i think the el salvador result and most importantly the el salvador performance did not help the team you know, to achieve their numbers. I think that would have contributed to it as well. Because that is what I think is the main fact. I think people were not interested because they thought that they are, or they think or have the feeling that the campaign is over in terms of possibility. Yeah. Because um, to be honest with you, performances are what are going to fill the um, stadium. True. So people are not going to want to come in there to be disappointed or even to watch something that is futile. So you know that as well. You know what else could fill the stadium though, Prima? There were quite a couple of stars in our show in that game, you know. Yeah. Quite a couple. Antonio, yeah. Bailey, Pulisic, Adams, yes. um, Zach Stephens. I mean, could you call him a star? Uh, but that there were mean, quite a couple of high profile players that could fill the stadium as well. I, and I agree with that exactly. That is why I would want to go and watch a Mexico game. You understand? Because we like to see good players, even if they're not on our team. So and, if and that and that put a whole heap of people in a national stadium more while well, you know when Mexico and US coming on. Man. <laughs> yeah, man. We don't lie. We don't lie. Um, yeah. we, we'll go out there to see if we know that a good team is coming here to play. Stadium Park. You know what I mean? No disrespect to the other like Caribbean countries. But anytime in the, in the past that a good team, a reputable team has come here, they never fail yet. Even if our yeah. friendly, never fail to, to pack up the stadium. All right, so they're claiming now um, the most important factor that they put forward as the excuse now, the system. So if they can sort out the system, if they're having issues with the system at um, 5,000, what do we say about their ability to manage it when they're targeting 17,500? Should we be concerned there as well? I mean, common sense will tell you yes. Um, you know, the first go around, there were glitches were expected. For sure, for sure, glitches were expected. I think this sort of thing is going to take a while for them to work out because they have never had to do it uh, trying to accommodate 17,000 people before. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure there are going to have to be um, special seating arrangements, um, how people are moved around the stadium is going to have to be organized, all of that. So, like, he, he went on to say in the article that basically the 5,000 capacity was a test run and the test run in his opinion went well i think i think if they run um run it again and get ten thousand, they should be happy 
to get 10,000 fans in there, run back the same program online, um, ticket purchases, all of that. Just try to organize the awareness, look at the local awareness campaign, and they get 10,000. They should be happy. This time around, doing a promo, we are even, we are in, we are even in a, a more precarious position than we were going into the US game now. Yes, true, because we'll be coming out at Christmas. And not only that, yeah. we were in going into the USA game, we were in a better um, position in terms of um, likelihood of people or possibility of yeah. you know qualifying for Qatar versus now a game later. Yeah, Panama won another game, pull further ahead, further yeah. clear of us. So yeah. I don't know. Let's see. Yes, that's why probably if they get ten thousand, they should be happy. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know what I mean. Also, it situation could change. That approval that they're seeking could um be denied coming out of Christmas if there's another surge. Even that too. Even that. Too. I mean, so there are quite a few external. Yeah. Um, issues that might derail that yeah. attempt. Yeah. But um, it would definitely be good to have more fans cheering for the team that i mean that is definitely my final thoughts but if the admin can get their self sorted out to the point where they can um, pull off the operations smoother than what they have done we don't expect it to be perfect just want it to be better you know what i mean yeah man agreed and big up the you know big up the jff for trying to to pull this off man yeah oh yeah it's over to the government no yeah ball in their court yeah all right all right guys thanks for watching remember subscribe like and do the same thing for the formula sports see you next time